episode, should we say a welcome or something? This is so uh, weird. Okay. First episode, take one. Welcome to Beanbags and Startups with Jordan and Bob. I'm Jordan. I'm Bob. And we're basically just going to tell you some stuff that's going on in the startup world for fun. Our first story of the day is called Beaky. It is a Kickstarter project, which is, quote, an intelligent robot fish that swims underwater. It can take pictures and video because it has a 4K camera. It stabilizes itself, avoids obstacles, and has a return to base so that when you put it in the water, it can come back to you, so it can make like a loop. My first thought is I love everything about Kickstarter. I, I love uh, the, the platform in the sense that people can make things like a robot fish, a robot fish. and uh, take them to market because who hasn't wanted a robot fish swimming underwater at some point? Can you get different models? Like, do they have different types of fish, like a catfish and bass, or? Not, not yet. I think it's more of like a camera that like looks like a fish for like, like technology-wise, it looks like a fish to keep it like stabilized and stuff. But what they said it was used for is they had samples of people in pools. So like okay. to take pictures of your kids in pools because it's safe. Or like if a research people, like a university or something was doing research, they could take a beaky underwater and take pictures of like the coral reefs and stuff. I see. So there's there's utility there. Yeah. And then I'm just wondering, like, are there that many people that need underwater video a shot from a fish? Well, um, let me just tell you some stats on this. So okay. they have reached their goal, right? Wow. Their, and what was the goal? The goal was $20,000. Okay. And so far, so they have raised they have raised $146,804,000. Oh they flew through $146,000. Yeah, seven, over seven times what their original goal was from 258 backers, and they still have 44 days left of their campaign to go. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, yep. and that's why I love Kickstarter, because on the surface, I would have thought, I don't know that I need a robot fish, but then as I started to think about it, I thought you want a robot fish. Maybe, and then when I heard they raised one hundred forty-six thousand dollars, I thought maybe I'll get a robot fish. Maybe. Why maybe. not? But that robot fish, if you buy it right now on Kickstarter, mm -hmm. early bird price five hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yep. At retail, uh, one thousand and twenty-four dollars. Oh, or if oh, you're beaky. or if you're going for the deal on Kickstarter right now, you can get, and I quote, a swarm of beakies, which is five beakies for twenty-seven hundred dollars. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not sure I want a beaky anymore. No offense to the beaky team. Yep. We still love beaky. Yes. We just can't afford a beaky. Yeah. I would like them to expand into robot sharks. That would be pretty awesome. That would be amazing. I found a, a, a startup out of California called Grabbit Inc. And I thought this was cool because they've invented a robotic arm that basically generates its own electrostatic field. So like static electricity, like you drag your feet on the carpet, you touch the one and shocks them. And it picks up things that are very small and very fine without actually touching them. So it harnesses this energy somehow towards the end of its little hand grabber claw robot thing. And they can use it to pick things up that would be damaged by uh, even like hands or existing robotic arms because they're too fragile or they can't wrinkle. So these are like uh, medical devices or even textiles or things where there has to be very fine layering. And I um, thought it was interesting because they've, they've actually built it and Nike invested seventy-five million dollars in them. So is there is there like a do you know can it pick up anything then? It cannot. No, and so, so there's specific things. There are, so it has to be things that are receptive to the, the electromagnetic charge. So um, you know, and so and, no rubber. Right, exactly. <laughs> things like rubber, things like uh, ceramics. You know, like uh, like what your coffee mug is made mm. out of. Um, and then there's also a weight limit yeah. too. So these are things that are very small, very thin, um, because the charge isn't all that powerful. And so if it tried to like pick up something heavy, I assume it would just go like this, and the thing wouldn't move. And it's See, disappointing. my immediate thought is things like could it be used to sort out different. Like, mm -hmm. for example, 
Like, I'm assuming that different things have different amounts of charges, right? Sure. Sure, maybe. I don't, I also do not, I'm not a science person. I'm just not gonna, a scientist. Just gonna throw that out there. Not a science person. Uh, so, like, if I mis mix a bunch of, and I don't know why this is the example my mind goes to, uh -huh. but like a bunch of sugar with mm -hmm. a bunch of rice, could I hypothetically use this static electric arm thing to just like go like this and just have all the sugar come out instead of the rice? And then sort it out, like find things. I would assume so. I you mean, think I, that would work? I don't. What you could also do is you could say something like, hey, Steve, come over here for a minute. And then when Steve walks over, you could turn the arm and shock Steve because it would be like this perpetual static electricity probe thing that you could just use to like randomly. And that, that's a joke that would really never get old. No, that would get old for Steve really fast. I feel like we're moving away from what the purpose of the arm actually is. Well, we are, but seeing as how the robot fish designed for marine biology, we went into like sharks in the lake. Oh, I feel yeah. like it's only fair. It's only fair to do it for all this. To arms. then look at the, the robot arm and say, well, you use it to shock your friends. Yeah. But like in a scientific way. So it would be less mean somehow. Yeah. So like, like if science. you used it for something like office morale. <laughs> <laughs> like lowering the morale. Well, so, I mean, uh, upping it for everybody except for Steve. Okay. You know, that's a good point. Because, like, everybody... I would, would laugh, you would laugh, everybody else would laugh, and Steve would be like, oh, man. Right, yeah. Like, who doesn't love seeing somebody get shocked? So, Yeah, I, so... Yeah. So, so see, grab it. Please send us an arm so we can boost our office morale. Please. 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 We'll film a video. Please. We'll do great product placement. We will... We'll, we'll film a series of videos yeah. to grab it. Same thing, oh. Beaky. If you want to send us a swarm, oh. we would we will happily take that vacation to San Diego, put it in the ocean, put it in pools, send us a shark, put it in the lake. I I put it in the bathtub. I mean, bathtub just to, just to get content out right away. To, Everywhere. To the fish. Everywhere. Huh? It's only ten thirty. Just checking the time. Okay. So I have an eleven with Shanika. I think I also have. We have the same with Shanika. And I think it's at 10.30. Content? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. Okay, so we should probably go to that. Alright. So, we'll just that's, that's enough. That's good. Alright. Good for today. Cool! Good for today. I feel like we have lots to talk about. If you like this video, um, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to make a new one every week. If you want to see some more stuff that we've done in the past, there's going to be a link somewhere around my face that goes to our podcast that we also do. Um, yeah, and if you have some free time, want to check out our website, it's www.makersource.io. You can find a lot of content there. You can connect with some partners if you have a startup, so you can connect with other companies that want to help you, and you can check out some other startups. Um, also, if you want more information about the stories that we talked about, they will all be in the description. So, check those out. We'll get better. We'll get better. Slightly. Yep.